Getting old isn't fun. My back hurts, my mind sucks. There are some perks to aging, but I can't remember them. I guess one of the upsides is, is that I can, can get away with shoplifting. If I get caught, I just do the Mitch McConnell thing and pretend my brain's leaking out of my ears. Recently, old people have an even better thing to enjoy. Get ready for a bit of a spin on ABC's long-running show, The Bachelor. This time around, it's a 71-year-old man looking for love. It's a new twist on a classic show. After 20 years of The Bachelor on ABC, 71-year-old Gary Turner is the first golden bachelor. 22 women aged 60 and older will step into the spotlight, hoping to find love with the golden bachelor. He's Gary. And I'm your first golden bachelor. Finally, a dating show where all the contestants are just like me, old and willing to degrade themselves on camera. <laughs> now, if you're wondering if he's one of those cool old guys, he's not. None of us are. Gary Turner revealed how it's been getting back in the dating game. I've had to learn a few lessons. My granddaughters have been helpful. I had to bone up on some of the uh, emojis and some of the more trendy words that are used right now. Well, I feel you, Gary. There's a lot of new slang out there, but it's pretty simple. Cringe means awkward, mid means mediocre, and riz is something I got from a hooker in the 80s. <laughs> Don't worry, penicillin cleared that riz right up. And emojis are easy, Gary. This means penis. This means penis. This means penis. Uh, this is a guy getting a haircut, although I use it to mean penis. Now, I'll be honest, as an older gentleman in my, well, let's say 40s, it is nice to see a TV show that really nails senior dating. I can't tell you how often I'm going on horseback rides, <laughs> taking trips in hot air balloons, and forcing women to play pickleball to impress me. <laughs> Seriously, pickleball? <laughs> pickleball. Really, my only problem with the show is the guy they chose to be the Golden Bachelor, well, he's a <laughs> schmuck. I'm fired up today. I get to play pickleball. Every door that opened was like the best Christmas ever. You don't stop believing. That's it. You oh, that's you all. Just that's great. You don't stop believing. <laughs> but I like to dance. Okay, come on. Yeah? Oh, come on. You're so good already. What do you say to guys that have only known you a very short time that tell you you're a really sexy woman? Oh. Oh, Christ. This guy is, is like if the word G willikers became a person. <laughs> Seriously, Gary, stop talking about your emotions. We're boomers, you dickhead. Just get drunk and wonder where your life went wrong in silence. Dignified silence. I'm talking to you, Gary. And I do have to give credit to this show. The Golden Bachelor is proof that people of any age can be milked for drama. He's going to send you home. I want to wring the little one's neck. In her mind, Gary is hurt. We are getting a little bit jealous. People aren't necessarily very nice. You made it sound like you chose me. Oh, look. I can't keep going like this. I just don't have the connection that I did. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. How is this happening? What the f*** is this? <laughs> to quote Mitch McConnell, <laughs> this show is beyond disturbing. The Golden Bachelor, I'd rather watch a golden shower. <laughs> really? <laughs> Seriously, that's your reaction is kind of a whiny reaction. Are you serious? Golden Bachelor sets up Golden Shower. You should have known that before you even came in here. Well, at 
least those people are having fun. <laughs> My generation is a bunch of idiots, but we don't need to prove it again, not on prime time. And the scary thing is, this show could be my future. Is this where I end up when my daily show contract finally runs out in 2045? It certainly has good ratings, which means we could be getting more reality TV spin-offs, like The Amazing Race, The Walk to the Mailbox, or Master Chef Senior, Foods You Can Gum. <laughs> who are naked and afraid and suffering from dementia. <laughs> and of course, Survivor. Well, maybe until Thursday. <laughs> My point is we don't need a show that makes old people look cool and happy. Any old person who tells you these are the best years of their lives needs to be institutionalized. <laughs> and if they're gonna make 10 more seasons of this shit, they're gonna need to legalize euthanasia. <laughs> Jesus? Thank you, Lewis. My God.